What's going on guys, it's the Worst Duelist here, coming at you with another one of these spicy, super turbo, unbreakable, unbeatable tier 0 deck profiles. Just kidding, it's Nefties. Are you serious? So this is going to be my updated uh, Nefties combo deck profile. Uh, I've kind of changed, uh, changed it up just a little bit. I've you know, maxed out on some cards, changed some ratios, so I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys the update because uh, the five people that watched the first video might care to know what I'm doing with it now. But uh, this is actually going to be the first of two videos I'm going to post about the deck because I have a whole other dinosaur version that I'm going to be profiling as well. I think I mentioned that in the profile, but I filmed it a few days ago, so I don't really remember. Um, <laughs> but at any rate, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and let the video take it away from here because there's really not much more to say. I do most of the explaining in the profile, and this one just overall is a little bit more in depth than the last one that I did on this deck. So, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so we got the triple gear suit um, and the one armor. Yeah, this hasn't really changed. Uh, I don't really have to explain anything about this. Um, yeah, he's just an amazing normal summon. Probably one of the most underutilized uh, engines, I think, it would be this package or just something along those lines. But yeah, so I mean, it nets you the um, the lib, the one uh, body here, and then you can get succession or like four legacy guard dragon. But in this case, we're getting monstrosity in this deck. But yeah, that's uh, the normal summon of the deck is the gear suit. Uh, the Nefty's engine is the triple devotee the double disciple I bumped this up to two and uh, the double matriarch and I'll quickly just go through and explain what these cards do because I didn't really do it very well in the first profile so the devotee when it's summoned you summon a Nefties monster from your deck um, the disciple says you can destroy a card in your hand and then you can add a Nefties monster from deck to hand and the matriarch says that you can destroy a card in hand and you can special summon a Nefties monster from the graveyard all of these have secondary effects. The Devotee says you can destroy a Nefties card in your hand while this is in Graveyard and you can special summon it from the Grave. The Disciple says if this is destroyed by card effect during your standby phase, during your next standby phase, you can uh, add one Nefties Spell or Trap and the Matriarch says if it was destroyed by a card effect um, <clears throat> during the next standby phase, you can special summon this card from the Graveyard. So yeah, um, I added the second Disciple because it's honestly just another good normal summon. Um, outside of like uh, opening the gear suit but um the disciple basically kind of fixes your hand is the idea behind it like if you have the ritual spell but you need the devotee then this can kind of get you there it can blow up true kings in your hand it can blow up baby rock and whatever and it can set up like needle fiber plays that way but the only problem is is the destruction from hand isn't cost so <laughs> you you get like super screwed by like imperm and stuff but the Matriarch and Nefties required setup. It has to have setup engraved, but kind of like um, the the idea here is like if you are normal summoning Gearsu, then when you resolve Devotee's ritual effect, you'll get the the Matriarch because you've already normal summoned. But if you have not normal summoned, you'll get the Disciple, and then you can usually just add the Matriarch and normal summon it after that. So for the level 9 engine, we have uh, 3 Gizmet Kaku. I bumped this up to 3 copies because it's the best of the level 9s. Just hands down, it requires like the least amount of setup or commitment. Because like if you're resolving the gear suit and you're getting to monstrosity, all you have to do is just summon this out of your hand and the monstrosity is live. Because, you know, the lib will be in the extra zone so that, you know, this guy will be, um, its effect will be live as well. So, yeah, we definitely wanted to make this one as consistent as possible because the card acts as, you know, not only as like a going second board break card, but it's an extended as well which is nice and he also looks sick but um i added the third copy of the draco phoenix because uh alongside the agnimizod it's the only one that you can summon in, in in the deck and like the fire one is just kind of few and far between as well but um i figured uh, originally when i built this deck that the water one would be the best because you figured like you want to have that one in your hand so you can destroy uh destroy it off of the nasty's effects but I don't know. I mean, like, while that is still good, uh, I've kind of found myself in situations where having this has just kind of screwed me over. Weird hands that include, like, baby rock and stuff, and, like, just no way to to pop uh, this guy. I was like, you know, I wanted to have the wind one instead so I could at least play, because, like, this and this in hand is a fiber play. I mean, granted, it's not for the best play, but it is a fiber play, because he doesn't miss timing off the Nefties cards or the True King cards, which is nice. So, um, the three baby rock and the one Plague Spreader Zombie. Um, the Plague is super nice. I probably should have just included it before and played Needle Fiber in the original list, but I said that I didn't really 
Uh, didn't really like it in my first video, but honestly, I was just wrong. There's just no reason not to play the fiber engine because, I mean, we're already playing this guy, so... The play can also kind of make, um, making the Trish Fusion a lot easier as well because there's just, there's times where when you have to go for the Trish Fusion because you just don't have the level 9 but you have the monstrosity where it kind of just like uses all your resources and it kind of screws you over but this guy can definitely kind of help mitigate that. So like cross a token and this guy can, you know, do that for you and you can have uh, Marcher and maybe some sort of other wind, maybe, maybe even a baby rock. Um, that you got back off the marcher, you know, and then that can be a union carrier so you can do like a uh, VFD carrier play, which is cool. Um, spell lineup is three pre prep, uh, three ritual spell. Uh, I didn't actually note this in the first profile, but the ritual spell has a really cool effect that uh, it's actually very useful for going second. But basically, what it says if you tribute the devotee of Nefties uh, for the ritual summon, then you can, actually, I think it's the Devotee or the Cerulean Sacred Phoenix. Yeah, it is. You get to destroy a card in the field, but it's non-targeting, so that's kind of nice. The whole non-targeting thing is sweet. But um, a couple one ofs is Reborn, Upstart, Succession, and then I actually ended up maxing out on the World Legacy Monstrosity just because I figured, like, Gearsu honestly just isn't very consistent. It's not searchable, so you'd rather just have this card. So, like, Opening one and then like still searching one later is fine because it just becomes fodder for Nefty's effects or yeah. Um, but I just kind of figured I'd rather have the card than not have access to it at all because without like when playing it at one hands without Gearsu make the level nines kind of really awkward because it, it basically like forces you to make Trish, which we're not honestly like Trish is supposed to be like a contingency plan. So um, a couple one ups here at the end. Uh, we have the one Sacred Phoenix. This is actually for the combo because you can't resolve this card's effect unless you play this or the other chicken. I mean, I guess it says any level 8 winged beast, but I'd rather play this because the revival effect is actually quite relevant sometimes. And, you know, it is a heavy storm, so that can just beat Savage Dragon. That's something that uh, it can definitely come up. I added this guy instead of the Nightmare Idli. I don't know why I was playing the Nightmare Idli to begin with. I think I just forgot about this card's existence, but you know, this has the dual usage of not only can I get it from Monstrosity, but I can also use it going second. And then I did add the Buster Lock to this, and uh, this is the real spice. Mike actually told me to play this. He, um, it wasn't even really him telling me to play it in this. He just kind of was like, hey man, Barrier Statue, some more Glink is a thing. But with him showing me that, uh, it kind of made me realize that uh, resolving Devotee and making this gets you that Smorgling just on its own, which is quite nice. Um, so moving on to the extra deck, we have the Nefties, the Sacred Preserver. So uh, like I said, if you Ritual Summon Devotee, for instance, like you you play pre-prep or whatever, you summon it out, you get the Disciple, you pop a card in your hand, you uh, make Matriarch, or rather your normal Matriarch, and then uh, you can like do link plays later on. You can use the matriarch effect to uh, revive an FT's monster, and you go into this. And then this will add uh, the ritual spell back, and then it will add the sacred phoenix to your hand. So now we have two Nefties cards in our hand that we can use for um, just more destruction effects. Or the main uh, thing that I'm getting at here is it makes your devotee of Nefties engraved live. So you can then destroy the sacred phoenix in your hand and special the devotee back, and you have a link to winged beast another monster so that gets you some work and then that gets you barrier statue easy peasy as part of your end board which is very nice but um you know that's why i think like normal in gear suit doing this lib sequence then resolving all the nefty stuff and then possibly like true kings along the way or you know resolving monstrosity or so many trish to get there you know it kind of just makes doing stuff like avermax smorg link vfd like super super easy but the only problem is it's it's quite fragile um it's just not as resilient as i would like it to be but uh that's it's, i digress on that we're kind of just like getting off topic here one salamon gray amorage this is just for weird hands this is like i have like succession in hand and you impermed my disciple so i'm going to turn it into this and succession it back and try to make some kind of play happen but one halk uh, yep, that's just this whole meta and the cross to go with it. So I mean you kind of just have to play these cards uh, Really just in, in anything in any sort of combo deck uh, I added in carrier just for uh, the buster lock to be a potential option. This could come out uh, the buster lock could just come out, but I just think like a VFD buster lock as like a backup plan because like uh, the situation that I described earlier where like you're using plague and the token and link cross to make Trish the Trish fusion and then monstrosity it out so then like you have the marcher left over you get the wind Draco Phoenix you overlay into VFD and then you use the two winds and you make this 
it's just super i mean it's kind of just i feel like it's a good thing to fall back on it just it adds to the whole you know we're already playing like six bricks in this deck like six one of not all of them are bricks i would say but the the dragon buster is definitely a brick but then it's like you know the plague is there to try to mitigate it so i don't know this could come out is basically what i'm trying to say the one some more link this is obviously we're part of the end board we're going to always be summoning this out and uh it, the fact that we're like we're playing the barrier statue of stormwinds it kind of makes this deck uh really remind me of block ba funny enough free my boy ryan fletcher rest in pepperoni rest in pepperoni block dragon but you know obviously the block ba deck is uh far more resilient than this because you have block dragon for the um uh, the, the the search power and like it gives you the card advantage and it's just so free it's a, you know a, a, a body that you could always summon back but there's no really point talking about him my boy is executed uh, one uh, black lesser soldier link you this is really have to be in here either because like the re only reason I'm playing is because you play the Sac sacred phoenix and like you have the level nine stuff so making it is quite easy it is a good going second option but I know he's quite expensive so this could really be like a unicorn or something um, we have the one Air Max. Yep, that's your boy. Crusade Air Max, part of the end board. Kind of uh, quite necessary for the build. We have one Boral Sword uh, to kill you. <laughs> There's not really a ton to say about that. It could be Access Code Talker. But again, this is just another expensive card. And then uh, one IP all the way here at the end for some reason because it was out of order. But um, yeah, you got the one Masquerade, and that's to make your Air Max invincible. Well, not really invincible, but close to it. The Marcher and the Herald. Marchers, honestly, really just for the uh, Trish Fusion play, and then Heraldic could be part of your end board, which is why that's there. And it makes you droplet proof, which is nice. To a degree, it makes you droplet proof. Um, and then you have the one Trish Fusion, and then the, the Calamities to round it all off. Um, but yeah, so this is the updated version. You know, it's uh, it's definitely fun. Uh, it could need some work still. I'm working on a dinosaur version of the deck as well, but you know, um, I feel like the original list had a lot of glaring problems with with brick cards i mean there's builds that i've had of this that have like 11 brick cards so i've slimmed it down to like these five and honestly we're really looking at like really looking at like like this because drawing these two is fine but you know there's i mean it there i mean i would like to have just like one brick card being this or maybe just like even just these two but i feel like this is a little bit too valuable uh just for the sake of um the deck can be quite underwhelming sometimes so having something like as oppressive as the buster bfd could uh kind of turn the tide for you or just end the game right there because i mean that is really powerful and it's no extra deck no monster effects but yes this is the updated list i'm going to be doing the dinosaur version at some point that will be coming out I need to get the cards in the mail and i'll upload that as well just because i don't know i, I for some reason i just have this weird affinity for ritual decks and i can't put them down but i hope you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe if you haven't and i will catch you cucks next time